My dad always told me growing up, nothing tastes better than slow cooked food in a Dutch oven. I personally couldn't agree more, and if I had to choose a favorite recipe, it would be cobbler. So today, I'm going to teach you how to cook cobbler in a Dutch oven. I'm first going to tell you about how to prop uh, the ingredients, how to properly pre prepare it, and how finally how to bake it. So for the ingredients, uh, ingredient, ingredients to start out, you're going to need a third of a third stick of butter, some cinnamon, a box of cake mix, and it doesn't matter. Two cans of pie filling, a 12 inch Dutch oven already seasoned, and then finally some chocolate. Uh, next, you want to prepare it. First, you want to put in the pie filling and just spread it all in the bottom. I'm going to show you later. And then you're going to want to put the cake mix over it, just dry it, pour it in. And then you're going to want to put the butter and just spice it evenly on top. And so, yeah, that's it. Alright, so this is just a different angle for the preparation process. You're first going to want to get the pie filling out and then just pour it on there like I said previous. Yummy. Yeah. So. Yeah, make sure to wash your hands before you do this because I'm going to be handling this food like a man. Crap. <laughs> and then just like spread it around. It's all yummy. And, and now for the cake mix or cake batter or whatever. And you're just going to want to put it around evenly, too. Alright, so now getting to the final steps. We're just going to get some of that butter, like I said recently, and chop it up into this. So, pretty. Yeah, you really want to wash your hands because your fingers are going to be all over this. Okay, and now for the cinnamon. I don't want to put too much. Okay, that's a lot. Hey, right, there you go. That's the preparation, and thank you. 
last week I'm going to teach you how to bake them. So what I did, I got those 25 charcoals and then I burnt them until they got pretty white and then I put 15 on the bottom and the remaining 10 on top and then we're just going to let them sit for 45 minutes and then it should be done. Alright, it's all done. And in conclusion, I told you how to cook a Dutch oven cobbler by telling you the preparation, the ingredients, and how to bake it. I think once you try it, you'll agree with me that nothing tastes better than slow cooked food in a Dutch oven. Thank you. Thank you.